Hey everyone, so we're often asked when recreating or duplicating a piece when to use a rubber mold versus having a 3D model made. In the long run it all depends on the original item, but 9 times out of 10 having a 3D model made will produce a better final product. Yes, a rubber mold is cheaper, but it will make a 1 to 1 copy of the original. So if the original is in poor condition, then your new item will be starting out just the same. And that is what we have going on here. One of our client's customers wanted to try and save money, and wanted a rubber mold made of a personal ring but the original was pretty beat up and already worn down. Not to mention the smaller top engraving being almost gone on the original, so of course it's hardly visible on the new ring. While yes, we were able to make the mold and cast a new identical ring in white gold, the top design is already almost gone, the shank is too thin and the piece has such a rough surface that it will require extra cleanup and polishing. The final product will lose even more metal and detail and the ring will become even thinner. No, a 3D model isn't always necessary, but if a piece is in this condition, then the new item will start out just as poor. It's the old saying, garbage in, garbage out. We never pressure anyone into making a decision they're not looking for, but we always try to lend our guidance, and hopefully seeing these two pieces side by side will help give a clearer picture. The two rings are identical, however the yellow gold original has less of a shine, so it's reflecting less light, but you can clearly see all the imperfections in the new white gold ring. If you are looking to have a personal item remade or are thinking of having a rubber mold created, feel free to reach out to us. We're always more than happy to help and answer any questions. And as always, thanks for watching.